We're March, mid-March uh, 2018. Uh, what we're demonstrating here is the ICE Work TP1332 airboats uh, like the Avatar, uh, 19 by 8 Avatar, the 18 by 8 Apache and the 18 by 8 workboat. Now they all behave pretty much uh, like we're going to see today. They're, they're quite maneuverable in tight quarters and they can transition quite well uh, around and over obstacles as we're going to see today. So this, is, this airboat here happens to have a few of the real popular accessories like the grass rig and the high sides and this one has a three-man seat but they can be configured ever how you want. They all will perform with the 556 supercharged LSA engine. They all perform pretty much in the same power range as what we'll see today. here to show what the uh, 18 and 19 foot airboat is like uh, in close quarters where there's a lot of obstacles uh, right now it's March uh, mid-March and so we have a good ice cover with a little bit of snow on it so let's uh, let's just take and uh, do a few uh, maneuvers here and uh, uh, snow piles and make use of them and, and just do it gently and kind of do a little bit of a demonstration. <laughs>
mid-March. Uh, we have a really nice uh, snow cover. Uh, lots of ice underneath, but the snow's melting fast. What we're showing here is like the Avatar and the Apache, the 19 by 8 Avatar, the, the 18 by 8 Apache, and the workboat with the polymer bottom. Uh, they all perform really well on the snow conditions, uh, even bare ice, but it's a little softer with the snow cover. So we're just going to do a few other maneuvers here and show you how that works. maneuvers just in the snow because it's an ideal time and within a week all the snow is pretty much going to be gone.
have to be prepared to do when you're doing maneuvers on snow and ice in close confined areas is you have to be ready to jump out of the boat you know if it's moving a few miles an hour if you're real close to an object because sometimes there's just nothing you can do to stop it from just kind of coasting into something but for the most part if you just keep your speed right down you can uh, and feather your throttle uh, it tends to um, kick the back of the airboat around uh, better uh, you don't want to just leave a constant RPM on the on the throttle it's always you know kind of snappy short snaps of power the rudder grabs that air and it'll move you around in close confined areas Teeter like this, that's perfect. And that's what you want to do when you're leaving your airboat is have it so that it'll rock and be right up off the snow and then it won't get that crusty kind of barnacle ice crystals on the bottom which can actually be very difficult to get going again. We've had to hook onto an excavator and pull it off the hill because it was all froze down. So in certain conditions, Good to have a garden tie or a plank or a couple two by sixes or something to lay down there, maybe a log, and it can save a lot of uh, frustration trying to get moving in the morning. Something as simple as setting a garden tie down like this uh, can make all the difference uh, when you go to park and launch again. It's called a teeter point, very effective for restarts and preventing what freeze down. What we have down. here is a good example of creating your own teeter point. If you leave an airboat in the snow, they tend to freeze down, but you'll see that one little garden tie underneath there, it suspends the boat and you have no trouble uh, relaunching into motion by suspending your airboat up and it, if it rains during the night or snows, as the snow melts, it's going to run that water uh, back to the you know drain plugs and as you're running your airboat and doing various maneuvers, you'll happen to uh, do some prop wash, which can take canoe resting place and flip it over fences and have it. So you need to recover it, re retrieve it. So they're pretty light and the wind coming off an airboat can uh, substantially uh, move light objects of that sort. airboats and that and also uh, we do airboat tours uh, summer winter spring and fall and so it's a pretty exciting day when you can get out on beautiful uh, plus 12 and icy snowy conditions to get out for an airboat uh, tour in the winter and boy some of those summer days there's nothing like it because you got that nice breeze coming off the, the wind uh, from the propeller so it keeps you nice and cool on the hot days and so so Canadian Airboat Tours you can look us up on TripAdvisory and on YouTube and a few other places our, our website CanadianAirboats.com <laughs>